The Octonauts Explore the Great Big Ocean Written by Meow Me It was a busy day under the cold Arctic Ocean when Captain Barnacle's beer was doing his laundry, Tweak Bunny was clearing ice in the Gup D, Dashy Dog was updating the Octopod software, Quasi Kitten was working on his cat food, Professor Inkling Octopus was leading a game, Shellington Sea Otter was researching with Tune of the Vegemo, who had just sounded the Octo Alert. Alert! 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 Sliding through chutes and climbing down ladders, the rest of the Octonauts hurried to the launch bay. There they found Tunip anxiously pointing to a large map on the screen. Redakwakwook! He chirped sadly. We were studying underwater biomes, Shellington explained. Every creature has a home, a special place called a habitat, that provides shelter and food. Tunip is upset because he doesn't know which habitat Vegemals belong to. Where did the Vegemals come from? Peso asked. That's a good question, Shellington said as he began to read from his journal. One day, while doing some research outside, I noticed some strange shapes on the side of the octopod. They looked like giant fish eggs, but unlike any I'd seen before, it was too dangerous to leave them outside. So I brought them up into my lab. After a few days, the eggs hatched, and that's how I discovered the Vegemals. I don't know where the eggs came from or how long they'd been attached to our ship. They could be from anywhere in the ocean. Captain Barnacles declared, Octonauts, our mission is to visit the different habitats of the ocean and find where the Vegemals come from. Prepare the guts. The team worked together to pack their tools and equipment while the Vegemals made sure there were plenty of their favourite cupcakes to eat for the long trip ahead. One by one, the guts launched from the octopod. First, the Octonauts visited the bustling open ocean. Amongst the waves, they met wandering sunfish, migrating whales, and a boisterous giant squid. Tunip was impressed that some creatures lived their entire lives on the move. On the rocky beach, the Octonauts were invited to a tide pool party. Tunip discovered that many creatures live in shells. Unfortunately, they were too small to be the Vegemals' homes. In the seagrass meadows, the Octonauts helped the gentle manatee farmers with their harvest. Shellington discovered many baby animals in the nursery, but none of them were Vegemals. When the Octonauts reached the sunny coral reef, they were dazzled by the bright colours. Friendly sea slugs perched on giant sponges, greeting them at every turn. But wherever they looked, every burrow and nook was already home to a creature. There wasn't any room left for the Vegemals. In the murky swamp, the octonauts nervously drifted past grinning alligators and curious snakes. Under the water, they discovered a parade. The crew danced through the bayou while the vaginals collected beads as souvenirs. Tired out from all the merrymaking, Tunip decided they should continue their search. After a long descent, the octonauts reached the bottom of the ocean to visit their deep sea research lab. The crew inspected the camera network, but they didn't see any vegemals, only a flickering lights of bioluminescent jellyfish. Tunip gazed out at the smoky hydrothermal vents and felt like he was on a different planet. He wondered if he'd ever find his own habitat. When the octonauts finally arrived at the kelp forest, Tunip's eyes widened and he clapped his fins together in delight. Woo! Everywhere he looked, he was surrounded by kelp, his favourite type of seaweed. But there aren't any other vegemals here, Shellington observed, but it appears to be a suitable habitat for them. Vegemals do love kelp. The vegemals quickly set up a camp kitchen and began baking away. They made sweet chocolate kelp cakes, healthy broccoli kelp cakes, and even fancy pineapple upside down kelp cakes. When it was time to leave, Shellington called out, Chena, are you ready to go? But the distracted vegemals were too busy to respond. Looks like they want to stay here, Captain Barnacle said sadly. I guess our search is over and we should head home in the octopod. The octonauts waved farewell as they departed in their guts, while the vegemals continued to work in a fervour. So much kelp, so many cakes to bake. The vegemals rolled and mixed and stirred for days until mountains of kelp cakes towered all around them. 
With the baking done, Tunic excitedly ran through the forest in search of the Octonauts, but he couldn't wait to share those treats. Not finding a single crew member, Tunic finally remembered they'd all gone back to the Octopod. There was no one left to enjoy the cakes. Missing their friends, the gloomy Vegemals thought of all the fun times they'd had and felt sad. The Vegemals didn't know where the Octopod would be, but they all agreed that they had to try and find it. With a long and difficult journey ahead of them, they quickly packed up their mobile kitchen. Plates were stacked and pots were stowed. The determined group left the forest in a jumble of carts spilling with cakes. They travelled back to all the different habitats that they'd visited, from the busy open ocean to the deep sea floor. As days passed, the Vegemals grew tired and started to give up hope of ever finding the Octonauts, until suddenly one morning they heard a familiar sound. Vroom! The Octopod. The Vegemals cheered as it landed beside them in a burst of bubbles. The Octo hatch promptly opened and the Octonauts swam out to reunite with their friends. We missed you all so much, Captain Barnacle said as he gave Tunip a big bear hug. We returned to the kelp forest to visit, but you weren't there. Luckily, we found a trail of delicious clues, Dashie added, as each Octonaut held up their favourite type of cake. The Octopod hasn't been the same without you, Barnacles, addressed to all the Vegemals. Would you join us on board again? chip choo Tunip quickly replied. The crew all turned expectedly to Shellington, who explained with a big grin, that's Vegemalese for yes. Back on board the ship, the Octonauts gathered in the garden pod to enjoy a picnic. Tunip, if you like, we can keep looking for your original habitat, Shellington said in between mouthfuls of kelp cake. There's still so much ocean we've yet to explore. Tunip looked around at his purring friends and cheerfully shook his head. He knew there was no better place for a regimental to belong than right here on the Octopod. The end.